Hi everyone, Scott Lewis here for Wirefly. Today I'm here to bring you a cell phone smackdown between HTC's Droid DNA and Apple's iPhone 5. We're going to be going through three different rounds in our smackdown today. The first round is going to be design, second round is going to be about the camera, and the third round is going to be about the specs. So let's go ahead and dig into round one, the design round. So right off the bat, we notice that the HTC Droid DNA is quite a bit larger than the iPhone 5, and that's because it has a 5-inch diagonal Super LCD 3 display, while the iPhone 5 has a 4-inch Retina display. For me, screen size is a draw between these two phones, mainly because it's up to the individual user on which size screen they would like. Some people like a smaller profile phone, so would select the 4-inch display over the 5-inch display of the HTC Droid DNA, while some people would like the 5-inch LCD display on the HTC Droid DNA because they watch movies and play games on their phone and maybe they carry it in their backpack or purse and don't care about the size of the phone. Sticking with the screens, the resolution on the HTC Droid DNA is 1080 by 1920 which gives it an overall pixel density of 441 pixels per inch. That means that the DNA has a true 1080p high definition display. Now the display on the iPhone 5 is also very good, it has a screen resolution of 640 by 1136 which gives it an overall pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. So when looking at screen resolution or clarity in the display, while the iPhone 5's retina display is fantastic, the Droid DNA with the true 1080p high definition is going to be superior. So the next part of our design round is going to be about the weight and thickness of the phones. Now the weight of the DNA is 4.87 ounces with a thickness of 9.73 millimeters. Now the iPhone 5 weighs 3.95 ounces and is only 7.60 millimeters thick. So the iPhone is thinner and lighter. So we're going to go ahead and award the win to the iPhone 5 for that part of the round. Now the DNA has wireless charging technology built in and that's one reason that it is a little bit thicker and weighs a little bit more. So that is a benefit to the DNA. And one other physical design aspect to take a look at is what the phones are made out of. Now the iPhone 5 has an aluminum back and it has a couple little glass accents and glass on the front. The DNA has a glass front, uh, some nice metal red inlays on the side, and then it has a soft touch uh, back cover that makes it fit in the hand very nice. Now it is also tapered so it fits nicely in the hand while the iPhone 5 is going to be very squared. Now it also fits very nicely in the hand because of the slim design. So there's nothing wrong with either one of the designs and what it's really going to come down to is if you like the soft touch rubber feel or if you like the brushed aluminum feel of the iPhone 5. Both phones have notification centers that will alert you for text and emails but the Droid DNA takes it one step further in the earpiece up here there's a notification light so that it will alert you if your screen is actually dark you'll see the notification light pop up and then it also let's say you put your phone down or turn your phone over while you're in meetings on the back here there's a small little dotted area right here and that's actually a rear notification light so even though you turn your phone over you will still get notifications that you have text or emails so that's the end of round one round one for me goes to the HTC Droid DNA for a better quality picture wireless charging and the notification lights I do like the size of the iPhone 5 a little bit better and I like the feel of the aluminum back better than the soft touch rubberized back on the DNA but the Droid DNA size for me is absolutely fine because you have the extra wireless charging so that adds some weight and thickness to the phone and I like the notification lights that are on the front and the back so with round one going to the DNA let's go ahead and move into round two round two is going to be about the camera in the iPhone 5 and the DNA and when you're comparing them spec wise there's not a huge difference now they both have 8 megapixel rear facing cameras. The DNA has a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera, while the iPhone 5 has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. Now for me that's not a huge difference because I'm not a big video chat or Skype person, so I don't really notice a big difference between the two front facing cameras. One benefit for the DNA is that it has some built in camera filters right out of the box, but that's nothing that you can't get with downloading applications or using applications with the iPhone 5. So with the specs and options being so similar, let's go ahead and take a look at some sample photos and that's how we'll decide this round. Let's compare our photos side by side. Now our first photo is of our Wirefly campus. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that the picture that the iPhone took matches the colors more accurately than the DNA's picture. Now for me, I would rather capture the colors accurately because you can always apply filters later if you'd like to adjust the look of the picture. Let's go ahead and take a look at photo two. 
Now photo two is in low light conditions. It's inside our Wirefly building. Now this is a piece of artwork that hangs here in the building. And once again, I think the iPhone captured the colors more accurately and actually showed better definition than the Droid DNA. Now the DNA's colors look a little bit darker and the edges on the colors seem to kind of fade into each other while that's not an accurate representation of the actual print. Those were our sample photos from the DNA in the iPhone 5. And I think in bright light and in low light, the iPhone 5's 8 megapixel camera performed better than the Droid DNA's. So our winner for round two is gonna be the iPhone 5. So that ties up our Schmackdown. Round one, the design round went to the DNA while round two, the camera round went to the iPhone 5. So let's go ahead and get into the spec round or round three. So we'll start round three off with talking about processors. Now the Droid DNA has a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. It's a Snapdragon S4 processor. While the iPhone 5 has Apple's A6 processor that's clocked at 1.3 gigahertz and it's a dual core processor. So that means the DNA has two additional cores to its processor and is slightly faster at 1.5 versus 1.3. Now in using both of the phones, you won't notice a big difference unless you have a lot of different multitasking things going on at one time. That's really where you would see the benefit for the quad core processor versus the dual core processor. The DNA also comes with two gigabytes of processor RAM while the iPhone 5 has one gigabyte of processor RAM. The DNA has 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and it does not have a spot for micro SD card. So if you wanted to get any additional storage, you would need to use a cloud-based service. This particular iPhone 5 has 16 gigabytes of onboard storage, but it is available in 32 or 64 gigabytes. Also like the DNA, it does not have a spot for an additional micro SD card. So if you needed to get additional storage after you purchased the phone, like the DNA, you would need to use a cloud-based storage system. The Droid DNA also has NFC or near field communication technology built in, and it has a spot for a micro HDMI output. While the iPhone 5 does not have NFC technology and does not have any kind of a hardwired HDMI output. The iPhone 5 and the DNA both have some options to send video directly through the phone to your TV over a wireless network. So that is an option, but you do have the option to hardwire through the micro HDMI output on the DNA if you would like to watch video content that's on the phone. While you really won't notice a big performance difference between either phone and normal everyday tasks, the HTC Droid DNA is better on paper for the 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor, the two gigabytes of processor RAM, having near field communication and a micro HDMI output. So our round three winner is gonna be the HTC Droid DNA. So that means our overall Schmackdown winner today is the HTC Droid DNA. And I look forward to reading your comments here on our Schmackdown if you think we got it right or if you think we got it wrong. Make sure to leave a comment here on the video. And if you wanna stay up to date with the latest in cell phone technology, make sure you subscribe to our Wirefly YouTube channel. My name's Scott Lewis for Wirefly. Thanks for watching.